Okay gang, Mike J. Anthony here. I want to talk about a blockchain project that is near and dear to my heart and it's called Grow and I have it sitting here at least this, this link here is sitting on my Superfoods Geek blog which is a blog that I wrote several years ago and uh, I have a lot of articles on different healthy foods, superfoods um, as they're called some of these are called um, and so I write about health benefits of a lot of different types of foods and um, their benefits and I got really into this and a few years ago as I wanted to change my diet and start eating better and stop eating so much junk that's in the standard American diet which is why everybody's so you know messed up and on the uh, diseases, chronic diseases, obesity, mental health issues, it, you know, most of it can be um, traced back to the things that we eat, the things we put in our mouth every day. Most of it is toxic, most of it is full of chemicals, and most of it is highly processed. So it's very important, especially in the, in the United States where we're like notorious for this, like worse than the rest of the world, it's very important that we know where our food comes from and start getting back to uh, eating whole organic foods the way that they were meant to be made and not genetically modified and all that mess that you find in today's uh, supermarkets and, and most of today's highly processed foods. So healthcare is crazy in this country and most of it is, um, you know, food is medicine, actually. I, I truly believe that, which is why I wanted to get involved with that a lot more and start eating better myself and start really paying attention what's actually in the food so you know this blog is years old I've had I've been doing this for for I don't know at least 10 years but um I didn't really start to take it seriously till just the last few years and then I came across this blockchain project which when I'm in my connect dashboard which you have to have the invitation to, to to be in here and I will have a link underneath this video where I invite you to take a look at this project. There's a whole bunch of projects back here. A hundred projects we love. But under share, um, once you go through my referral link to join this, there'll be a bunch of videos back here. And the one that I actually have on my Superfoods blog is this particular one because this one actually deals with agriculture and the tracking of foods and right now this company um, well this project actually because they are partnered with connect because connect is the the company that puts all these blockchains together with their engineers and, and whatnot and they put together several projects a lot of great projects like switch deals with finance galvin deals with um health and wellness uh dr adam sharp is the doctor behind that project and uh, Element is mining the mining industry, like diamonds, gold, silver, that kind of stuff. There's a blockchain behind that. There's a blockchain for giving for charity purposes. Give, it's called, that blockchain. And the one that I am making this video about is called Grow. Grow United is the name of the, the company behind this project. And they are partnered with Connect for that blockchain to be made so so the the, um, the actual company the Grow United company and the blockchain are two separate things so there's a CEO of the company but then then there's the the blockchain the blockchain is not run by the company the blockchain is run by the community it's run by all the people who choose to buy a grow node just like if you were a Bitcoin miner in the very beginning of Bitcoin in 2009 very few people had Bitcoin nodes that were actually mining Bitcoin on the Bitcoin network. Well, the same is going on with Grow. Like very few own these today, but it grows over time as mo more people come onto the network, more people want to use the network, more people want to uh, get involved with um, the underlying technology, and you know. So you just choose one that's near and dear to your heart, and the one I really like is Grow and that's why I wanted to make this separate video about it because again like I said I was already into these things several years ago and when I saw when I started getting involved with uh, blockchain 
projects and I saw this one, I really wanted to be involved with this because of I care about the things I eat. I care about what's in my food. I would like, I think that should be tracked rather than going to the supermarket and you buy a steak. You have no idea where that cow came from or what it ate. And most of the time, these cows are fed things that human beings should not be putting in their bodies. And once it's in the cow's muscle, it's in your steak, it's in your food now, it's in your body, and it's not doing us any favors. It lacks a lot of things, you know. It doesn't have uh, the mega th mega three that's supposed to have. It's got way too much omega six. It doesn't have vitamin K two that it's supposed to have. You know, all these things are not there anymore because of the way that they highly process these things and take away things that should be there and put things in that shouldn't be there. So the Grow blockchain allows you to uh, track that. And right now they are partnered with a a family farm out in Colorado called called Royal Family Farms. And they are actually putting their cows that they raise out there in Colorado on the blockchain. And this is it. And this is only going to be one of many partnerships using this blockchain. But um, I'm going to go ahead and play this video for you. It's only three minutes long. And once you sign up for a Connect account, again, I'm going to give you the referral link to that. Because you have to be referred by a member. And I'm a member, so you can use my referral link. You can go through the projects. You can go right to the same site I... I'm at right now and you'll be able to hit the share and you'll be able to scroll down here and you'll be able to share this with others if this resonates with you the way it does with me you'll want to share this with others and what you do is you just click share and then it has it has a number right here which is actually your affiliate ID so whenever you share this link you, you don't need all this other stuff really you just need up to this number like right here once you just grab this, you can take this link and share it with anybody. And, and, and if someone wants to buy one of these nodes, they'll be buying it from you. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video right now. Do you know where the food you ate today came from? The vast majority of us don't. Do you know where the feed that was fed to your food came from? Even fewer do. How much impact did the production of that food have on our environment? There's just no way of knowing that, right? And how much of the price you paid for that food would you guess made it back to the farmers who produced it? It's much less than you think. Studies show the more farmers receive, the better the quality of the foods they produce and the methods they employ to produce it. Yet the vast majority of our food is controlled by just 10 huge public corporations. These are middlemen who leave razor thin margins for our farmers and focus on profits, often at the expense of sustainability. But what if there was a way to democratize things? That's why we created Grow United. Grow's mission is to decentralize the global agriculture and farming industries using blockchain technology to do things that until now have been impossible. We all want to live in a world where consumers are more connected to the foods we eat, more connected to the earth we all share, more connected to those running the farms that feed us, and more connected to the impacts our decisions make for all of us. Grow United launched the Grow blockchain with a mission to nourish the world by providing three things, transparency, traceability, and trust. Transparency, giving anyone the ability to see in real time the path their food took to arrive at your plate, including anything that was fed to it, sprayed on it, or injected in it. Traceability. Grow United is working on an instant notification system to alert you if something you purchased has a recall or health alert. Trust. The Grow United logo is peace of mind. When you see produce carrying our seal, you can purchase with confidence, knowing each item is rigorously inspected, tracked, and verified on the blockchain for quality. 
Grow United is working on green initiatives like planting trees, grasses, and cultivating wetlands to balance out the carbon emissions of food production. These carbon credits are stored on the blockchain and purchased by those seeking to achieve their net zero goals. Grow United is also investing heavily in vertical farming projects that increase food production while reducing their carbon footprint. So join our mission and together, let's grow. So that is the video that you can share with others. It's three minutes and 15 seconds long. And again, once you sign up and uh, for your Connect account, because you have to have one of these, because that's who they're partnered with, they created the blockchain that's behind this. And um, once you have that created, you'll have to create a wallet here and you're gonna have to, uh, you know, you can get into that later. But the main thing is if you like something like this, if you're into this kind of stuff and you wanna share it with others, you create your account and then you go in here to the share and you scroll down. So it'll be like up here. So you'll scroll, scroll down to the grow and grab that video and then here's the other one that you can share and again you would just grab the link I just take this part of it and then I would share that with whoever I want but I will go ahead and play this one as well so you see what that one is before you share it how much do you care about the quality of the foods that you eat I care a lot do you care about the quality of the foods that you eat I certainly do I try to eat healthy and I try to do the best that I can, but I mean, I, I'm sometimes I read the, uh, the information that they have in the food, but I don't know if that's completely true or not. What did you have for breakfast today? Coffee. Okay. And a big glass of water. And then I had some kind of bread with cinnamon in it. I don't know what it was. Do you know where the ingredients came from? No, I certainly there? don't. What, what did you have for breakfast today? I just had a cheeseburger from the vendor up the street. <laughs> Um, do you know where the ingredients came from or anything about that vendor? You've been there before? Yes, but I don't know. He uses real beef. Okay. You don't yeah. know what you're eating, and I'm afraid to even eat beef. I had a Chick-fil-A sandwich. Okay. And do you know where that Chick-fil-A sandwich came from? No. <laughs> any of the ingredients? Any, any of that? Well, no, but I know what the ingredients are. You trust Chick-fil-A? I don't know. <laughs> do I? There's a lot of information out there, but you don't know who who you can actually trust. Exactly. What what if there was an app where you could track exactly where your food came from? I would love that. Would you love that? You would love that. Why? why? Why would you love it? I would like to know what chemicals are being used on them, what fertilizers, what water, what additives, are they GMO? Do you know like what kind of environmental impact it might have from the food production? No idea about that. Yeah. And so if there was an app that could track all of these things, you would use it? I think so. Yes, definitely. Well, that would be very helpful. Definitely you would use Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Friends would use it. Absolutely. So that's the second video that you could share with others if you want to do that i really like that project because i love the idea of tracking my food where it came from like i don't i don't really buy i used to buy steaks from the supermarket but now i really don't do that anymore once i learned a lot more about you know some of these the health issues that's being caused by the the meat that we're eating and a lot of people say well i don't eat meat i only eat you know fish or i only or i i don't eat red meat i only eat chicken now well, that's the same thing. It, you're, you're not doing yourself any favor because it's not the meat itself. It's what that meat was fed. And the cows, the chickens, the fish, they were all fed the same poisons. So it's not enough to just switch what kind of meat you're eating. It's, it's, it's how they were raised. You know, meat is actually good for you in, in, in moderation. And if you don't eat meat, that's fine. That's your choice, you know. But if you do eat meat, you should eat it from wholesome sources you should eat you should know where it came from you know if you eat your fish you should know that it's wild and not farm raised and then fed a bunch of chemicals you know if you're going to eat chicken you should know what those chickens were fed you know most of us just go and grab chicken from the supermarket but it's it's you know those chickens 
were raised with cornmeal, which is genetically modified, and chickens don't eat corn in nature. You know, they eat grubs and worms and vegetation and things like that. They don't get that when they're mass produced in factories. So there's something wrong with that meat. It, it's not, it doesn't have the vitamins and nutrients it's supposed to have. And now you can avoid it altogether and be vegetarian, but then you're not getting the amino acids you need. So there's just, you know, when you start doing all the research, it just, it's like a huge rabbit hole that you go down and you start to realize why we have all these epidemic, you know, epidemic diseases and, and, and things like that. And children who have childhood obesity and ADHD is like the most prescribed, you know, medication for children on earth now. It's like, it's crazy. It, it didn't used to be this way, you know. Now you need all kinds of certifications on the food, which they charge a lot for just to eat like we used to before 1950, I'm going to say. And that's nuts. So to help that along, we need things like this, I believe, to help track our food. Because you can't just tell the supermarket, hey, I want this. They're not going to do anything about it. You know, big producers, uh, you know, Costco, big companies like that are not going to do anything about it until the customer starts voting with their pockets. Till we stop buying those things. Like me, I stopped buying those things in the supermarket. I don't buy typical grain-fed steaks anymore. I go to my local but butcher who actually has grass-fed meats. And now I'm starting to see in the supermarket, slowly but surely, you know, there's, a, there's like two brands of grass-fed meats that's being sold. Every now and then they import some from uh, uh, New Zealand that I, I saw, but that's very rare. I've only seen it one time and never again. So, <laughs> but when they, when they did have it, I bought that. So the supermarkets know what you're buying and what they need to put more of, and they, and they only know when you start voting with your pocket, you know, because that's the only thing that gets their attention is money. Nothing else does. So things, things like this is helping us to track our meat and vote with our pocketbooks and know that we want, you know, wholesome foods. We want things like that were raised by uh, producers who actually raised cows the way they're supposed to be raised, eating grass like they're supposed to eat and not corn and injected with hormones and all kinds of other things to fatten them up and, you know, all that kind of mess. So I really like this, especially being a superfood geek type of, you know, person. That's <laughs> why so I have this blog and I write about things like that, you know, which type of omega-3s that you should eat, you should, you know, you should take. Um, some of it is in our food. You know, I give some examples and I write about the benefits of this stuff. You know, wild Alaskan salmon, um, you know, I only buy salmon that's from Alaska. I don't, I don't buy any farm-raised salmon at all because it's contaminated. I, I have articles that talk about that. Um, so when I saw, here's a, like a hundred, uh, a scientist that lived to be 102 years old that he told the government back in 1957 that, you know, it wasn't cholesterol that was the problem. It's actually trans fat. Well, they didn't ban trans fat until 2018, a full 61 years later. I wrote about that. Uh, his name is Fred A. Kummerow. So, Kummerow. So, um, you know, we really need to know. This doctor tried to tell us, like, decades ago that it's the stuff that's in our foods. And the government didn't listen to him, and, and even, even now... The government still allows things that should be banned. So we really need to track those things. We need to know about that. And the government is not going to tell you. And when they do tell you, they tell you way too late. Um, you know. So you you are pretty much on your own. You, you have to educate yourself about these things. And you have to find out what's in your food. And anything that helps that along I'm, I'm okay with I'm good to go with and when I saw grow is doing this and they're not just doing this with um, with uh, beef or cattle they're doing it with any kind of agriculture it's going to grow this, they're just starting with this because this is just starting this is a new thing and there's a, I saw in the supermarket there's another there's a, there's a couple of companies actually doing this now and they're starting to use carbon credits and sustainable farming habits and you know um, but it's only like one or two brands out of like everything you see in your supermarket. Only one or two of them are actually worth buying. And you won't know that unless you are educated about this stuff. But more and more people are getting educated. And as you saw in the video, more and more people do want to know what's in their food because we all know that something's wrong with it. You know, everybody in the United States is like really messed up. We're getting so fat and unhealthy. 
and the reason is the food. It's not your fault. It's because our government has allowed these toxins into our food supply. And we need to be able to track that. That's why I really like this so much. I think this is needed. I think this will grow because people like me are getting more educated about this and we're starting to vote with our, po our pocketbooks. And we're starting to say we don't want the crap anymore. We want real food like we used to eat. You know, <laughs> we want that. And this helps us track that. And since it's on the blockchain, they cannot doctor it up. They can't manipulate it for what they want it to be. They can't do any of those things. It's going to be immutable, transparent on a blockchain ledger so that we can see that it's doing what it's supposed to do. And I think that's amazing. I think a lot of um, producers and uh, retailers <clears throat> and wholesalers are going to catch on to that and they are going to start picking that up. Right now, they don't want it, you know, they're not doing anything like that, but they will. That's going to change. And um, the, the Grow United community here is actually going to be launching. Um, they do have an app out already, but they're going to be launching. They're in, they're in talks with some of these wholesalers and producers and retailers as we speak. So this stuff is coming. It's coming. So if you want how you can take part in this and actually possibly benefit from it is by buying nodes. What you do is you buy a grow node, which is right here, and these things are keep going up in price. They start at twenty five hundred bucks. They're now forty nine hundred. Um, I bought mine a couple months ago, and um, I think mine was forty six hundred at the time. So it's three hundred dollars more than when I bought it because what happens is every time people buy. Um, one node they go up a dollar but the price doesn't go up until a hundred of hundred of them have been purchased in which case the price then moves up 100 bucks so that's why I think these start at 75 so I think every 75 or 100 of these that's purchased it goes up by 100 bucks so they give you the number here to how many are left at this price right now there's 31 left at 4900 once this reaches zero this price is going to go to five thousand dollars and these are being bought like crazy. So um, that's why they're $300 more than when, they, when I paid for mine because 300 more nodes have been bought. So it's not like these are not being purchased. These are being purchased a lot, you know, a lot more than you might think, as well as all these other ones as well, which are also very great projects. But I just wanted to focus on this particular one because that's what this video is about, is the Grow node. I, I did buy one of these and I can show you that it has digital rewards coming in which you have to put it online and that costs to put a note online I use block fabric which is our um, node setup when you click node setup it'll take you there and that costs four dollars and ninety-five cents per node per month so if you bought five nodes you would spend twenty five dollars if you buy one node you'll spend five dollars a month let's say you bought one grow node like I have here it's like just one and that's what this green is and then it gives you the the the, the block rewards and right now I have 168,000 um, grow rewards. So if I click grow, it shows you how many I have earned since I first put mine online and how many that I've gotten today. Um, so the most recent reward is 2,841. So this has been out for about four months now. This particular note. So these are the this is the amount of digital rewards that you'll get on a daily basis and the more people that come on and buy these nodes the, the the less that you get which is why you want to jump on these early because you know you're dividing it between more and more people as they come onto the network but that's a good thing because as the digital rewards go down hopefully the dollar value goes up over time so we want to get a, 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 so enough people on here that you know first of all big corporations have to pay attention to this is, is, the, is the most important thing and second of all this utility will allow the network to grow, allow it to be secure and transparent on the blockchain. It cannot be changed by anybody. And that also adds to the value of the network. And these grow digital tokens will hopefully grow in value. Right now, there is no liquidity on an open market for these. But that doesn't mean there won't be in the future. In the future, there could be, you know, these could be worth, I don't know, who knows, two cents, three cents. Uh, 10 cents and you might have millions of these by then and you're you know for all we know that these could be worth millions of dollars so I think this is something that the world is going to latch on to because it has to and that's why I was really really interested in at least getting one of these 
I know people that have hundreds of them. I know one guy right now that's got like, I don't know, he's got like over a hundred of these. So, <laughs> you know, so <clears throat> there are people that are spending millions of dollars of these. So, you know, if you think these are expensive, um, they're not, they're actually cheap. And there are people that are buying them by the, the tens and hundreds of them. Um, like I said right now, I know one guy right now that has a hundred of these. So that meant he spent like $5 million for them. I know another guy, his name is Tony Swantek. He paid $54 million for a bunch of these nodes. And I know he's got a whole bunch of these grow nodes as well. So that's my case for, for grow. I really love this project. Um, I listened to webinars about the, the, with the owner who's out there in, uh, Colorado. I believe his name is Will Taylor, if I'm, if I remember correctly. But yeah, um, they have some really great stuff coming up. Um, they're, like I said before, they're in talks with big time, you know, well-known retailers and wholesalers. And they're in talks with more farms that are going to be using this blockchain as well. And it's not just for meat. It's also going to be for, you know, uh, cannabis, uh, any kind of agriculture, anything that's grown, you're going to be able to use this for. The, 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 sky, the sky is the limit, and this is only going to grow and grow and grow. And that's why, and, you know, funny, it's called grow, smart node. But the possibilities are endless, and we really need this. This is going to revolutionize the farming industry by decentralizing it. And I think that this is great, and it's also needed. So expect big things to hear about this. So if you are interested, sign up for a Connect account. That's free. You can just you can come in um, and look at this stuff. And if you, I highly recommend purchasing a node. You would just purchase a node. You stick it in your card here. You could pay for it with U.S. dollar tether, U.S. dollar coin, uh, win tokens, or a credit card. Like I bought mine using a credit card, and I had to pay like two hundred something dollars in fees, but. As opposed to if I use Tether, you don't have to pay any fees except for a, a low ETH, ETH fee, which is 0 0.0029 ETH. So, um, how much is that right now at point, I think, I'm going to say 3400 for Ethereum, 0 0.00294. So that fee would be 10 bucks, right around right now. Much better than the 200 I paid by using a credit card. So, if you have Tether, get Tether before you do that and, um... You would have to set up your wallet, and um, you would have an external wallet here that you set up, and then you would move your tether into here. You would grab your tether address, move it into here, and then you would be able to go ahead and purchase a grow node, and you will put tether up here, and then it tells you the amount of tether you need. You need 4,900 tether right now, plus another $10 in uh, ETH. So you need to deposit some Ethereum in your account as well, and you would be able to buy this Grow node using that. Outside of that, you can use a credit card, but just know that it's going to be like $5,200 um, if you use a credit card because of the credit card um, transaction fees. So, but anyway, that's how you buy a Grow Smart node. I highly recommend you do that. I want to get the word out about that because, like I said, I am into you know, wholesome eating and eat, eating foods the way they were meant to be eaten. This helps us track that. So I have this video right on my Superfoods Geek blog as well. And um, that's all I'm going to say about that. So happy hunting. And uh, if you bought a grow node, congratulations to those of you who actually own a grow node because you are helping to grow the network and utilize this network. And you're helping make it more valuable. And you're more importantly, you're helping to promote good health and good um farming habits. And I will see you on the next video.